earlier I've done the process of actually uh, checking out the systems. So here we're going to get to the PC side of things. Uh, I think I mentioned a couple times that I use uh, Ubuntu Linux. So basically I have these three flash drives. I use Ubuntu Linux to do the, uh, the drive creation, the Xbox One drive creation, and also the resizing after cloning. So upgrading a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte drive to a two terabyte drive. Uh, I would first use the clone, uh, and then I'd use Ubuntu to resize the partitions. And I'm going to go through that. Uh, the first step, though, I'm going to show you how to actually create these. Uh, it's pretty well documented online, but I'll just show you the process I use. Uh, so first, we're going to start with the Ubuntu bit, because I'm basically going to create this drive, and then uh, walk you through the process of creating an actual uh, Xbox One drive from either a blank or a drive that you're just going to reformat. Anyways, so here we go. So we'll put this into the system. And bring you over here to the actual uh, computer side of things. There we go. Okay, so for the Ubuntu part, so I actually have everything here. I have a copy of Clonezilla that I downloaded. Um, Linux Live USB Creator, which is pretty cool. You can basically create a flash drive that you can either, um, so you can actually use a flash drive to install Linux. In this case, uh, we're just going to use it as a live installer. So basically, we boot from the USB drive, or you could use a CD or DVD rather, um, and just boot up a copy of Linux that is working until you shut the computer off, and then you can just boot it again. All right. So the uh, and the last thing is actually my own custom scripts, and we'll get to that. Um, in fact, I'll actually do this in reverse just because it'll speed up the whole uh, video making process for me. So, for instance, this guy here, uh, this is this F drive, the flash drive I just put in. I have actually already have a copy of Ubuntu installed. It's actually the copy you see here. Uh, so I'm going to show you the last step first and then show you how to actually create the drive. So after, let's just assume I've created it, which I have in this case. And there's, you don't see anything here, and I'll cover that later. It's because you actually hide all the Linux files is one of the options. Um, but this zip, which I haven't figured out exactly how I'll offer it. Uh, I'll make it downloadable from somewhere at some point. But we're going to open it again. I use uh, 7-zip. to man It's free, which uh, is great. But um, I use that to manage most of my zip files, create most of my zip files. But here we go. So we're going to extract. So just open the zip file. There's a folder in here. There's actually two files. And we'll cover those later when we're actually... These, these files allow you to uh, basically format the partition. The first file here uh, formats. And the second file checks that it's properly formatted. So you can make sure all your work is... Uh, so you can kind of... Expect that when you put it in the Xbox One, it's going to work, um, so you can sort of verify it. Uh, so we're just going to extract this directory, and I'm going to put it right on the root of our Ubuntu drive. Okay, we'll say okay to that. F done. Okay, so I look at our F drive, and it's here. Okay, so that's the last step. Now to get to this point where your F drive is actually created, I'm going to back up a little bit here. And we're going to use this Linux Live USB Creator. So this is an installer, so you would you would run this to install it. So let's just let's just install it again. I think it's already installed, but it's okay. I mean, it's the usual sort of thing. You just click install, hit next a bunch of times, and uh, the last step you can actually run it. So we'll just click finish. Otherwise, you could just you know look for it in your start menu here. Um, okay, so this is cool. So this, I'll show you through all the steps here. This is about as simple as it gets. But first, we're going to choose our USB key. Uh, it tells us basically what's a USB key versus the hard drive. So we want to pick our F drive again. Uh, you want it fel formatted FAT32. Uh, I don't know if you need to format it before you actually run this program. You might need to do that. But either way, you just want to make it FAT32. Then we want to select our source image here. So we're going to do ISO. And right here, great, here's our ISO that we download. So we download this from the Ubuntu website. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I figure I'll give you guys something to do. But uh, basically, this is just straight downloaded from Ubuntu's download area. Uh, I think you do it as a torrent, or you can do it as a direct uh, download. And the third step is persistence. So I believe this is an area of the disk that you can use. So basically, I was saying when you boot from a flash drive on Linux, uh, it's only an install for as long as you keep it booted. And as soon as you shut it down, that instance is gone. Well, you can create a persistence file, which allows you to store some files, like create log files, um, you know, maybe generate something and put it somewhere so that the next time you boot from that flash drive, uh, it's still there. So it's kind of cool. So I usually just go with the biggest. 
it's not something you necessarily need um, to be particular large. I forget what they specify here. I think they uh, there's a there's great help on all this stuff, and you can actually um, they have what you recommend. Blah blah blah. Selecting zero means no persistence. Slide mode. Anyways, I'll let you kind of read into that. But j just as a general rule, um, I will use the largest amount. Uh, but also that means it takes a while to create the drive. I, I think when I did this, that's why I'm doing the, uh, I did the last step first because this actual process, once we select all the options here, takes about 10 to 20 minutes to complete. Um, so the last step is options and I check them all. Um, so we have uh, hide created files. That's why you weren't seeing anything except for VirtualBox. And the VirtualBox bit you saw because of this thing, enable launching live, uh, Linux live in Windows. Uh, we're not gonna use that in this case, but I suppose it's an option. Um, but honestly, I think it's better because the Clonezilla, you, you would need to, to actually boot from the flash drive on a system with just your drives attached. Um, I think this it's just better to use it as an external drive. But hey, you know, you're welcome to experiment with things. Anyways, the, uh, the last step is to actually uh, create the flash drive. So like I said, this was pretty much all your options and we would just click this. And it's gonna say, you sure you wanna format the disk and lose all your data? Oh yeah, that was actually, that was unchecked before. I usually check this just to kind of make sure everything's clean. And um, I have a 16 gigabyte drive, as it says here. I'll we'll say okay. Um, so this, like I said, this takes a while. It formats and it does a bunch of things. So I'm gonna end this particular video here and uh, move on to creating um, the Clonezilla drive. Um, I've already done a video of how I organize the, uh, the OS um, UDT files. Uh, so somewhere I'll link that in the video or below the video or something. Um, but yeah, so the only thing we have left now is basically to create this guy. And once you've done that, um, the rest of it is all actually booting and, and making the, uh, the changes on the, the Xbox One drive itself. All right, so I'll end this here and uh, we'll, the next time... Uh, the next video should be actually creating a drive on the Linux side, so I'll show you kind of how to connect everything up to a laptop, but, you know, it, it's useful to see it, but your situation, I'm sure, might, might or will be different. Anyways, see you in a bit.